Philippines and U.S. troops engage in maritime surveillance exercises at a military camp in Zambales province as part of a two-week joint exercise aimed at improving security ties between nations. The joint exercises, Balikatan, test the combat readiness of the two allies in responding to maritime threats including piracy and humanitarian assistance and disaster response. About 120 troops from the Philippines and the U.S. Marine Corps boarded rubber boats from a Philippine Navy ship and simulated amphibious operations from the coastline, practicing stealth landing and troop deployment at a nearby beach. The exercise will help soldiers respond in emergency situations. Be it this environment where it's pretty passive or an environment where you know you may have reefs or you may have uh, an environment w with enemy, who knows. But that stuff is something that, you know, that's why we do this type of training. That's why uh, the Marines are so good at it. Armed Forces of the Philippines Balikatan Co-Director Lieutenant Analea Cascaro said the exercise was not related to the tensions in the South China Sea or West Philippine Sea. This is just an, an exercise which um, enhances us to be more effective. So I don't think there's an, there would be an issue or a relationship between what's happening down south. The war games come under the 1951 Mutual Defense Treaty, part of a web of security alliances the U.S. built in the Asia-Pacific region during the Cold War. The Philippines has territorial disputes with China over the West Philippine Sea, which is said to be rich in deposits of oil and gas and carry about $5 billion in shipborne trade every year. The Spratlys in the South China Sea are also claimed by Taiwan, Vietnam, Malaysia and Brunei.